done so many interviews recently with AI experts and, and leaders in artificial intelligence. And so have I, we've had some some similar guests in, in, in that respect. But now that you've learn from the best and the brightest minds in this in this world over the past couple of weeks and you've, you've distilled all this knowledge down what are harry stebbing's general thoughts on on ai on artificial intelligence how, how will it change the world how will it transform commerce and, and industries where do you think this this is going in the next couple of years it's a very good question i think there's one very important thing to realize is that there is a fundamental misalignment right now between the speed of development and the speed of adoption. Mm. Uh, development is incredibly fast. It is insane to see what is being put out at the speed it is. But the speed of adoption is not nearly as fast. And what I mean by that is it will take a considerable amount of time for the large enterprises in the world to adopt a lot of the technology that is being built out now. Data security is a massive problem. Permissioning is a massive problem. Uh, there are so many enterprise requirements that make it difficult to adopt what is being built today, which will be, but it will take time. It always takes longer. Again, there are some commonly held tropes which people forget. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, buy, buy low, sell high is one of them. It sounds ridiculous, but it's true. Uh, here, it always takes longer than people think. And on the adoption side, it will do the same here. It will fundamentally reshape many industries. It is the platform shift that we've been waiting for 100%. Um, I think it actually favors incumbents a lot more than it favors startups. There's a brilliant quote from Alex Rampel at Andreessen, which says, will the incumbent acquire innovation before the startup acquires distribution? That mm. is the game of startups. Will the incumbent acquire innovation for the startup acquires distribution? And we always chastise incumbents for their slow speed, for how lethargic they are. Not now. Google have been fucking fast with Bard. Adobe have killed it with many of their integrations of AI into the existing product suite, Firefly. Um, they are moving at breakneck speed. And I think they will actually accrue most of the value and the benefits and i think 85 percent of the companies in the ai space raising today will actually turn out to be nothing slash very valueless features mm -hmm. um and i think not enough people are actually thinking that through the prices are crazy it's a capital demand and supply challenge as always um but i'm very very excited for it the thing i'm not excited for and i think is a concern is the speed of transition. When you look at the industrial age and then you look at the PC age, you know, entering enterprises, these were decade plus long transitions. This is year long, two year yeah. long, three year long. There will be many, many people who are displaced and we need to think about them while we're all salivating on the enterprise value that we're creating for ourselves. Yes. Like, income inequality is probably going to be one of the most pressing problems that we face over the next few years. And in the early days of any new technology, it gets worse. And so I think we just need to be very mindful about that. And AI will do that. It's incredibly exciting. I'm very excited to invest against it. And I'm not being negative, but I just think that we all need to be aware of that because I don't think enough people bring a human voice to that. Yeah. But Bard is a great example because um, I stopped using GPT and, and now I'm I'm all in on Bard just because it's so it's connected instantly to to the web and it's you know it's already built into in, into Google essentially I know it's more of a, an experiment at this point but it was so interesting to see when they released it um, billions of dollars were wiped off the Google and the Alphabet um, stock price because of a mistake that was made on an advert initially and then within a couple of weeks they had fixed it to the point where it was you know on a, on an equal playing field to, to GPT so the the I. I do agree that the large enterprises, even though they, they, they lack speed, when it comes to AI, this is almost um, a a life and death moment for a lot of big businesses who who could see, oh my God, something could be could be created which could completely you know <laughs> remove our business model. We need to get on top of this, and we've seen people like founders of, of Alphabet, you know, coming back to, to to the business to try and spearhead these campaigns and initiatives. So it, it is such an exciting time to to, to be focused on that space.